What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my content. It's kind of obvious to me that this franchise is going places, and I say it's working so far because Power Rangers Dino Fury Season 2 or Season 1 just won an award from GLAAD, and I think it has a lot to do with, you know, them putting LGBT agenda and stuff onto the show. And if I would have known that, I wouldn't even watch this show. But at the same time, the way they presented and the way it was done, I feel like it was done perfectly, but I feel like it was done a little bit rushed at the same time. But that's just my honest opinion, especially well, especially from season one, episode 13. So this is what it says. Congratulations are in order for Power Rangers Dino Fury as the show has won a GLAAD Media Award for Outstanding Kids and Family Programming. The GLAAD Media Awards recognize and honor the media for fair, accurate, and inclusive representation of lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, and queer LGBT community, and Power Rangers delivered a huge first for the franchise, introducing the first LGBT Ranger, Ranger um, sorry, AZ played by Tessa Rayo, across the show's 28th seasons congratulations to power rangers down of fury rayo and the show's full cast and crew on the amazing award down of fury was nominated alongside some other great shows including i can't pronounce i don't even care but yeah let me just say this though throughout the history of the franchise you would have think that power rangers would go out with a bang in terms of introducing LGBT Rangers done right but I feel like in Dino Fury season one they took their time but I feel like it was kind of rushed at the same one well, sorry um uh -huh. at the same time my apologies I just been in my uncle house all day ignore it but um in terms of how the show is presenting and how it was written I feel like it was done perfect it wasn't rushed by all means in some degrees it did but i feel like it delivered on its own thing on its own flavor in its unique style um even though i don't like the writers from the neo saban era but i gotta give them credit for what this dude they you know i feel like they done an amazing job of giving the fans what they wanted to see and Dino Fury season one and season two are great shows, despite its issues with some bad episodes and how it was written. Yeah, it's a kid's show, but at the same time, you don't need to talk down to them because one way or another, you know, sorry, one way or another, they're gonna know what's what. So I kind of agree with Orange Ranger videos, shout outs to him. And I was watching this video the other day and I can understand why he's taking away from Power Rangers because of how it was written for kids. Like, there's a better way of writing kids shows with adult problems. Making sure that the episode makes sense. And in terms of, you know, how do you write these shows without making it feel woke and any unwanted politics and stuff. But I don't feel that in Power Rangers Dino Fury in some ways. I just felt like if they would like if they were to introduce different characters, make sure it's done right. But I feel like with Izzy, the way they introduced her in episode 13, it was done perfectly. So if y'all want the article, I will post it in the description below. So yeah, I'm gonna holler at y'all in my next video. Peace.